What's good, y'all? It's your boy Flo here with another Pokemon Showdown episode with Draft League Edition. Um, this week we got Dratini. I believe this is gonna be. I believe I gotta check real quick because we're kind of ahead of the the list. Ahead of the list. I believe this is week six. Yeah, this is week six. This is our week six opponent in the Dratini Draft League. Um, I'm gonna get straight into it because I pretty much think they're waiting on me. Anyways. Uh, first up, they got Terrapogus, the the giant turtle. That not the baby turtle, but the giant turtle. I don't know why it starts off as a baby and then goes giant in mid match because the stats are completely different from what they get. I don't know. I don't know. Pokemon, Pokemon logic. Anyways, they got Terrapogus, which is extremely annoying. Not really sure how I'm gonna deal with it at all. <laughs> like, I have no clue how I'm going to deal with it, but I'm try to do it the best way I can. Next up, they got Iron Boulder. I, I honestly doubt they bring Iron Boulder because Dundozo walls it so, so, so well. And yeah, it, he can't really do much. Um, Next up is the, the fucking Archeladon. The goat himself, the new steel type that I thoroughly enjoy. I used him a few times in my gym league. Um, If y'all seen the episodes... Um, I do have a team, a steel team based around him. He's really, really fun to use. <laughs> so yeah, I'm terrified to go against this. Next is low kicks. If you know about low kicks and me, you know we go way back, right? Um, back in my first ever draft league ever, like it was a couple months ago. Um, we joined the what was it called? The Fate series, the uh, the Fate, uh, Holy Grail War. Uh, it was my first ever draft, and I drafted low kicks as one of like my main attackers. I'm not going to lie to y'all. For a few weeks, he was dominating. And when I mean dominating, I'm talking about dropping bodies. With that first impression, Choice Bandit, and I think at one time I ran a Source Den set with uh, Trailblaze. And um, I think he had just gotten knocked off around that time. I think that's what I threw him. Or was it Throat Chop? It, it was one or the other. But, um... He had Axe Kick too, or low, Axe Kick or Low Sweep, one of the other, one of those fighting type moves that take recoil damage. And yeah, he was going, he was nasty. He was nasty the whole time until, um, I think I gave him away for Hoopa at the end so I could play the playoffs. But yeah, that's Low Kicks. I love Low Kicks. I I love that my opponent has Low Kicks because Tinalin is underrated as fuck. Um, next up is Hatterene, the setup monster itself with the magic bounce. It's going to be extremely annoying to get around. Hopefully, hopefully I do pretty decent in getting around it, though. Um, I'm really not expecting it to, <laughs> to be that big of a threat with Hoopa on my team, but it might. It might. Next, we got Glalele. I'm pretty sure his terrors for Glalele is something like Ice. <laughs> let me look let me go find it real quick y'all okay it's right here uh his tears for glalie is electric ghost and ice electric ghost and ice so um, another spin blocker um potentially uh, this is that's gonna be terrifying for me if he runs that uh next up is alamomola uh water his terrors for alamomola is water fairy flying alamomola isn't that scary because i have lapras to kind of stop it from Flip turning and gaining so, so much momentum. But he might even run Baton Pass to kind of fix that. So we'll we'll see what he does. That will be a, a genius play on his part. If if he does, though, I just got out prepped. Like, I'm going to be honest with y'all straight up. If he runs Baton Pass on that set, uh, I just straight up got out prepped. He, he's a genius for that play. Um, Next is Desi Desidua Hazurian. Um... This thing is terrifying to my team. I think the only mons that counter it very well is Talonflame and Fortress. And we'll get to that in a second on why I'm terrified of it. <laughs> but anyways, his Terras is Electric, Ghost, and Fighting. All the, those three are just... Uh, I, I can't stand this mon. It's, it's on every stall team I've faced in draft so far. It's one or the other. I doubt he brings this one, though. Talonflame... <laughs> What? Typhlosion is next. I really doubt he brings Typhlosion because I have Dash Bun and Dash Bun just scares all fire types away for some reason. <laughs> Nobody brings fire types against me. I was just like, why not? But yeah, it, 
I doubt they bring top flushes, but they might on the off chance. They, they might run some weird sets with like Shadow Ball or something. I think it gets Shadow Ball. Um, next is more Pico. Now this they might bring because my biggest weakness on my team so far, I think, is electric because I have like three water types around my team and a flying type. <laughs> And yeah, we don't have a good time with electric. Electric dark specifically actually is crippling to my team because I don't really have nothing to eat that. I don't have nothing to eat those attacks like that. May um this more pico is a physical attacker. I think it's like a base ninety three in physical attack. Uh, is it a base ninety three? Base ninety three. Base ninety three. Base ninety five in physical attack. Well, yeah. Or was that HP? No, that was a tag. Yeah, 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 yeah. Base 95, 95. That thing hits kind of hard with a roar wheel. Um, who's next? Who next? Oh, shit. All right, next and last but not least, we have Doug Trio. Doug Trio, it may come because ground is kind of nice against me. I mean, Rillaboom might scare it away, so it might not come. And Flygun, obviously, it can't really touch Flygun. I, I think it has to run like Rock Slide or something in order to touch Flygun. Maybe Momentum or Memento to gain the momentum. Um, but, yeah, uh, I, I don't see it coming. But, you know, people are weird. <laughs> you know, I'd be thinking thinking these things ain't coming and they bring it anyway. And I'd be like, why, why did you bring that? You know? But anyways, y'all, my opponent's waiting for me. Wait, wait, oh, 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 rewind, rewind. I forgot to show y'all niggas the team. The team. I need to name these. But anyways, okay, first up is our boy Dash Bun. Uh, Dash Bun, a.k.a. Cheeseburger. That's my favorite name to call him. <laughs> He's running Rocky Helmet just in case uh, Terrapog decides to go for rapid spins. He has Body Press and Crunch for just damage. Body Press to hit Togrepon. Um, to also hit things like Archelodon. Uh, hopefully we can outspeed and hit Archelodon, but we might not and get nuked. That's scary. <laughs> That's terrifying to think about. And yeah, yeah, hopefully he runs it scarf like he did one time before, but he may not. He may just run like a standard assault vest set or something like that. And we'll have to rely on this next month. Um, Fortress. Fortress, we ran special defensive again with leftovers this time because we need a little bit of recovery. We need a tad bit of recovery on this. Uh, we're running Iron Defense, Body Press, Heavy Slam, Rapid Spin. Now, I was thinking about giving it like Protect and uh, Stealth Rocks or Volt Switch. I don't really know what kind of combination. I don't use Fortress like that, y'all. Like this, this league is my first time ever really using Fortress in any kind of meta. So, like when I tell y'all I'm experimenting and testing out new things, I really am, and especially with steel types. I love experimenting with steel types. So I'm, I'm, I'm kind of cool with this. Heavy Slim does about forty nine to fifty percent to Hatterene, while Body Press does a good like. It depends on the Archelodon set, but. If it's max defensive uh, Archelodon, then Body Press does like somewhere around 30, I think 29 to 39%, somewhere in that range. And our MVP of the match that's going to be <laughs> extremely needed this, this game, um, very, very important to keep this thing alive. Um, Fly Gun, Choice Specs, Levitate, Earth Power, Stiff Rock, Psychic Noise, and Bug Buzz. Yes, I have Stiff Rocks on this. Stiff Rocks because I think Flygun terrifies his whole team and terrorizes it to half the death. Like his team is fodder to Flygun. It's, his whole team is fodder to Flygun. It just is. Like Earth Power cripples him. Uh, I think Decidueye is his only answer to Flygun. And if I get the prediction correctly with a Bug Buzz or a, a Psychic Noise, this thing is going bye bye. But everything else does not appreciate our earth power at all whatsoever. Not even low kicks. Um, next, we have Lapras. Okay, so I'm running Lapras because one of my least favorite mons is on his team. A.K.A. A Amola. And I hate that thing with a passion. His goal is to stall and just hit you with little baby hits and get away. It, it, that's literally what it does. It's come in, soak a hit, laughs at you, and gets out. That's what it does. And that's why we're running Water Absorb <laughs> Lapras with Terra Poison because I'm pretty sure he's going to run the Toxic uh, 
pack rent or whatever but this is to stop Alamomola, stop it in its tracks. If it goes for Wish, I'm going to go for the Psychic Noise, preventing it from healing its teammates or preventing its teammates from getting healed. If I go for Psychic Noise while it's in and it hasn't went for it yet, it can't use Wish. It has to switch out. And that's amazing for me. Um, Whirlpool, obviously, because I'm trying to go for this chip, uh, protect um, Parish Song because I could potentially trap something. Uh, potentially trap something like um, what's his name, Archelodon. I, I feel like that's what I'm gonna end up trapping is the uh, Archelodon. But we will see. We will see. Hopefully, we get that through though. Um, next up is a Dun Dozo. I have to bring Dun Dozo because I have to respect the fact that he has the um Iron Crown or what's his name, Iron Iron Boulder, Iron Boulder. I have to respect the Iron Boulder. And I have to respect the low kicks. I have to respect the shit at half his team. Duck Trio too. I have to respect all that. Dundozo, I have to bring him because I mean one sword stance with a speed boosted uh iron boulder and it's over. Like my whole team gets KO'd. Uh Forges might take a little a little more hits, but it's still getting KO'd too, goddamn. <laughs> the Mitch going getting dropped too. Actually, you know what? He is faster. We could switch Heavy Slam for Iron Head. He's faster than Hatterene. And we could do that, y'all. I, th I think I'm going to go for the flinches instead. Iron Head sounds like the play, right? And yeah, Dundozo. He has Liquidation, Yawn, Protect, Earthquake. Yawn because I feel like he's just going to bring in the, the Decidueye every time Dundozo comes out. And potentially try to go for a flinch on somebody. That's why Cheeseburger's here. As well, to kind of like be able to pass wishes off when he brings in Decidua and whatnot and cause havoc. And last but not least, it's Hoopa. Okay, so yeah, um, Hatterene, the Hatterene situation was solved when I realized I had Hoopa again. Um, Hoopa is a salt vested with Magician, it has Shadow Ball, Psychic, Future Sight, Knockoff. Now, Shadow Ball with Hoopa, if Hatterene is somewhat max special event somewhere in there. Shadow Ball still does on the, like, let's say I switched Hoopa in and uh, Hatterene just went for Combine. Shadow Ball still does around like 60, 70%. <laughs> and the next turn it does about six, I think at minimum, the next turn it does like 49%. So, I mean, it's, it's still two shots. Damn near one shots, this Hoopa set right here. And um, Hoopa's speed tier is basically to outspeed. Um, Archella done if it's max defenses instead of max speed. But from what I've seen, he loves to run the offense of Archella done. Okay, my opponent's waiting for me, y'all. Let me go ahead and get into this match. I'll catch y'all in a second. All right, y'all. So we're here in the match. Um, from the looks of it, my opponent didn't bring Alabamola, didn't bring low kicks, which I'm extremely happy about that he didn't bring Alabamola, <laughs> not low kicks. Low kicks, I've I feel like did pretty good here. Um, he did bring the Iron Boulder. Okay, so off of first look, the biggest issue on their team is obviously this Decidueye, I would say. I would say Decidueye is the biggest threat on their team. Uh, I, think, I really think we just lead. You know what's free? Earth Power and Psychic Noise? Bug Buzz is free. Holy shit. Flygun looks amazing here. Who would they lead off with? I have an answer for Dundozo. I have an answer for down there. Everything but this art. I just don't know. I have an answer for basically everything. They lead off with the par pack rent. Perch. Peck. What's this thing name? Uh, turn one, they lead out with this. I could just go for the noise. I'm trying to see. I'm going to go for the rocks here, turn one. Yeah, I'm going to get on my rocks. I don't think they're going to go out in the Hatterene. I hope not. They do. They do. That's a beautiful play. Oh, my God. That was beautiful. A beautiful ass read. I 
Hattering comes in. I think it's going to just straight up try to calm mind up on me. These rocks are here to stay too. That's what's unfortunate. Yeah, he goes straight for the calm mind. I'm going to go for the shadow ball. Terra Ogre Pond comes in. I don't know what he'll have on it. It might calm mind as well. I'm a. Uh... Oh, I don't know what to do against this thing, bro. I want to knock off because I don't know what his item is. But and I also have the Terra Lapras because it's gonna be taking mad chunk from these rocks. I'm in a bad spot. I think I should go for Future Sight first and then knock. Or I just go straight out in the cheeseburger. I think I knock first. Yeah, I knock first and then... Grassy Seed? You went for Grassy Seed on me? Let's future side here. Is he is he trying to set up on me? I'm a psychic. I'm gonna switch out into Fortress. I don't know what his last move is. It might be Flamethrower. Forty nine percent. Holy shit! He has Dark Pulse on it. Walk. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna screw us. Um, my answer for Artilladon is going away. Yeah, my answer for Artilladon is fading away slowly. Yep, 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 yep. I think I have to get rid of you. It, it would make it would make no sense for me not to get rid of you at this point. The most useless bun here is Lapras, though, bro. Ah, oh, man, that sucks. I'm just rapid spin, and I lose him there. Ah, uh, he might KO me with with a uh, cheeseburger. Coming in. Lapras doesn't have to tear a poison. Oh shit, yes it does. Yes he does. Is he stored power? Dark pole stored power set? He might be. He might be. I'm gonna just yawn here. I'm a yawn here. 45. My earthquake. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, I'm gonna protect. See what he goes for. Trailblaze. This thing right here, bro, has Trailblaze on it. 18%. I think I wish here. I think I wish, and I might send it to our electric. Terra Electric. I don't know how much body press does, but let's see. Let's see what it does. Boop. 33. Mmm. I would wish her. I, I would wish her, but I feel like body press is the better play. Trailblaze. 
Trailblaze did 42. Trailblaze did 42 last time. Let's let's go for another body press here, y'all. Actually, we should protect. Yeah, we should protect it. I'm going to wish again. I He did not just get the defense drop. He did not just get the fucking defense drop, bro. I think it kills at this point. But he's just going to go for the thousand arrows again. Uh, I think it kills at this point. 34, he's going to live on 1 HP. 1,000 arrows did 28, so he has to go for the trailblaze here to try to KO. Yeah, he, he had to go for the trailblaze there to try to KO. Body press here. Get my recovery back. Let's go. Um, Iron Boulder is an issue. I think I have to yawn, bro, again. Iron Boulder is an issue. Archelodon is an issue. They're all just straight issues at this point. Flygun looks amazing here, though, if I can get him in. If I can get Flygun in, oh my goodness. Actually, let me count that. Um, Flygun. Uh, Blank said, let's do Timid. Timid choice specs. Where's specs? 252. Oh my God. Just give me 252. Earth power. What's his name? Archelodon. Oh, shit. I spelled that real, so wrong. Archelodon. Mmm. Mmm. He eats that shit up. <laughs> he eats that shit up for breakfast, boy. Let's see. If he's not, there's a 31% chance to KO. That, that is great news. I think the best play, I really want to sack off Lapras. I really want to sack off Lapras. And I just want to let bro go. Let, let's protect here to see what he does. Who knows? He's iron defense. Iron defense enough. The question is, can I beat Pattering if I lose Flygun? Hmm. I don't want to lose Flygun here. Flygun does so much here, bro. Like, so fucking much. And I might just have to sack well bake here. Like, I really might just have to. Iron head. He gives me the chip. Is that enough chip? 88. Iron defense, so he's not assault vested. He's about to eat one of the meanest of earth powers here. And get rid of him. Get him gone. Get him gone. Get him out of there. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, Hoopa comes in. I, I got to switch. I, I got to switch out immediately. 
Shadow Ball. With the AV. Twenty. Ooh, that eighty percent with the losing the drop. Oh my god. Oh my god. He on X Games. And he's still too slow. I'm gonna come. Oh. He's still too slow. Hooper. Oh, but stop playing with him. Don't play with a hooper. Don't play with a hooper. Give me, give me this KO hooper. Give me this. Hey, hooper. <laughs> Hooper ain't give me the KO, y'all. <laughs> he ain't give me that KO. Uh, Pack Pertrant. Pertrant. Let's see. Pertrant. Oh. Er. How the fuck you spell his name? Did I, did I spell it? E. E. Pack Rant. I think this thing it was Parting Shot. 108. I'm just going to Earth Power Scarf. Scarf, scarf, earth power here. I have to. I gotta go for the protect spam here. Oh, he's choice banded. He's choice locked. He's choice locked. Yo, no way. We won with the protect. GG's, bro. Yo, this guy is good, yo. I am fucking impressed. He was choice bended. He said I needed to do that damage on Dozo. I need to do the damage. I like that. That's crazy. Well fucking played, bro. Amazing fucking team prep. Homie prediction. Turn one prediction was insane. Homie said, I'm going to switch to Hatterin because he might be a rock lead. And I don't want rocks on my side. That's what he said. And then he did that. He brought a lot of setup. I, that's what I said, though. I figured he was going to bring a lot of setup to this game. Because that, that's what really fucks my team over is a lot of setup. And once you get rid of Dundozo... You can set up freely and store power is the way you get rid of Dundozo when you when you need to set up. But man, shout out to my opponent who prepped extremely well. I appreciate him playing me this early. Week six, we finished with it, y'all. We got a dub. And with that being said, let me get up out, y'all.